I was asked to talk a little about my own experience, and, and my own experience perhaps well captured uh, in a conversation I had with a colleague of mine a couple of years ago. I was having lunch uh, with a colleague who writes a lot about issues regarding both not only law and religion, but also religion as narrative and some uh, similar issues. Um, and he told me that he had heard from another colleague that I had turned down an invitation to write for a leading theological journal um, after the journal sent along their editorial guidelines. And I said, that was true. And he said, what did you object to in the editorial guidelines? And he said the, editor I said, the editorial guidelines said that you cannot use gendered pronouns to refer to God. And he asked why that bothered me. And I said, because of the way in which I believe God chose to reveal himself. It's not a matter of God possessing gender, but rather a, a matter of revelation. And so we had a conversation about that. Um, and, and he said to me, well, he said, uh, don't you feel, though, that, that with that point of view, um, that keeps you out of some circles of discussion you could otherwise be in? And I think it's actually not true. It's the rules of those circles that sometimes will uh, uh, keep me out of discussions I might otherwise be in.